Right, so we're coming to the new season. Uh, new season, spring, which means one thing, and that's buzzers. Buzzers are going to be on the menu now for oh, the next good three, four, five months even. And they're always on the menu really, but uh, Fisher Tenant are going mad on them. March, April, May. Um, so I'm filling my box up again. And one of my real go-to patterns, one of the buzzers that I use all the time, is this little fella. This is the uh, uh, cool buzzer. Um, some people call it the Halloween buzzer. I've always known it as the Halloween buzzer. Um, but essentially it's a cool buzzer with uh, sunburst cheeks. Um, cheek colours vary from pattern to pattern. I love the yellows. Uh, the bright yellow, I think they're great, especially in clear water. Um, everybody has their favourites. It's a very simple pattern to tie. Keep it nice and simple, keep it nice and easy. Um, so we'll just run through it and I'll show you how I do mine. So let's take this one out of the vise. Pop in a new hook. Tie this one on a barbless. I'm just about to start doing my barbless ones for the comp box. This is a size 10 nymph, barbless nymph. There we go. In there nice and easy okay um, very few materials for this pattern uh, nice and straightforward main body and everything made up of uh, I use uh, UTC this is uh, black 140 um, again everybody has their favorites but this one doesn't let me down so just start by popping this onto the hook just tie that on just blow the eye and just get started just say nice simple easy tie this one doesn't take very long at all you can knock off quite a few of these out in the space of an hour or two on the vice uh, very quick but the fish absolutely love them so just take that down all the way down to just above the bend of the hook that will be somewhere around about there okay now the rib as the name would suggest is made out of quill peacock quill stripped peacock quill this stuff here okay now you can buy this pre-stripped or you can strip your own i find it just as easy to strip my own and it works out a bit cheaper as well um, this particular one that i use is dyed in picric um, it just gives the uh, the core the quill a little bit of a tint a little bit of a color uh, and i think it shows through better when you varnish them afterwards again everybody has their own preferences but uh, you can pick these up from most uh, fly tying uh, outlets so just easy way to strip these down there's many ways of doing them many ways of stripping the hurl off of, off of the uh, uh, the quill and the way I like to do it is uh, an old pair of scissors I find that very easy you can do it with an eraser um, everybody has their own ways to do it but basically just select yourself a quill and take it off okay so just that's your quill coming off your um, your, your, your main feather and then I take a pair of scissors, and these are getting a bit blunt now, these ones, so I use them for this sort of thing. I just open them up, and then I run the quill just between my thumb and the blade, just like that, and I just pull it through, just, just slide it through a few times. You see that hill starting to come off Do that a few times. And I'll strip that down, take care with it, don't give it too much pressure. Otherwise, you'll end up snapping it. And after a few little pulls through there, you can see that's all coming off nicely. And you end up with a nice piece of stripped hell, peacock hell. Okay? Just take your time with it. Don't rush it. Otherwise, you'll end up snapping it and breaking it. A little bit of practice. Do it a few times and you soon get it. Okay? Nice and easy. As I say, you can use an eraser. Um, some people, everybody's got their own ways of using well you can just buy them straight out of the packet whatever you want but i find that you get a lot more for your money if you buy them like this uh, and there you are that's your strip pull you don't need a massive amount of it okay so we're just going to cut that off just at the taper there just somewhere about there just like that uh, last little bit of rubbish off there okay with the thin end of your, of your quill just offer it up to the back of the hook and catch it in and then just tie that in and come back up the body. Now, you can, if you want to, taper your body as you're going back up the hook by coming back down it two or three times. I don't find it to be necessary because we're going to put 
two or three coats of uh, hard as nails varnish on top of it uh, and that bulks the fly up anyhow and you don't want these flies to be particularly bulky um, well i don't want these to be particularly bulky i want to be able to control the descent of the fly uh, the bulkier the fly the faster it descends so these particular ones they're going to be fished on droppers mainly uh, and i don't want them to plummet through the depths i want them to slowly flutter down through the depths so i'm going to keep the bulk down on the fly a little bit so i'm just stopping just here um just nice and shy of the uh, the eye of the hook give me plenty of room up here big mistake a lot of people make when they tie time with buzzers they tend to bring everything right up to the end of the hook here they finish everything off at the end of the hook here and then when you come to tie everything off at the end you've left yourself no room you end up with a massive bulky head up here on the on, on the end of the hook and you've got nowhere to go so just stop a bit short like that and it just gives yourself a little bit of room so by taking the helm all we're going to do is just wrap that in not quite touching turns but just nice turns up the body all the way to the top and just kind of a little bit of space in between and there's that black thread just shines through and this is what gives you your lovely ribbing effect okay and just bring that all the way up the hook just like that let me just turn that so you can see that a little bit easier and as you're coming up the hook just start opening those turns up a little bit more just to give that lovely segmented body effect and again stop this well back from the well back from the eye that's going to do me i'm happy with that i'm just going to catch that in there a couple of times like so just caught in there nicely take your thread round tie that in and then just trim off the excess okay you see that lovely segmented effect on the body there that's what we're looking for with a buzzer okay cheeks in the buzzer uh, as i say you can do these in all sorts of different colors and, and, and do play around and do vary them because uh, orange cheeks definitely have their place i like these yellows uh, especially good on uh, clear waters done very very well on rutland and graffin with these flies as well as the small lakes as well and i think it's because of these bright yellow cheeks um, they just stand out and if they're on the buzzer they really really stand out give it a lovely little hot spot if you like something for the flies to, for the fish to hone in on now the camera's not really picking this color up but this is a sunburst real bright sunburst yellow this is a well it's actually a fluoro yellow this one and this is a goose bite okay you can see the biots there that we're going to use for the cheeks so the camera is having a difficulty picking this color out but just bear with me so what we're going to do is select a couple of these um blades a couple of these barbs just two of these barbs off from here and they're going to be your cheeks i'm just going to cut that off now put that down now you're going to offer these up one other side of the hook okay and you can do them one at a time two at a time i like to do them one at a time just to keep them nice and easy just like so that's the first one just track that in with a couple of turns and then the second one at the back of the hook there just coming up the side of the fly just offer it up not all the way to the eye again again always leaving yourself plenty of room up by that eye there okay you've got the two eyes there trapped in side by side and you're just going to work yourself back down the hook this is going to make your head now again we don't want a massive great big pronounced head but big enough so just start building up with a thread stand back from the eye if you can just build up with that thread so if you're happy with the sort of size that you want and again you gotta remember your varnish is going to add bulk to this fly as well so you don't need to go mad on it don't make a massive head on it that's going to do me you bring the thread to the eye of the hook and you do bring it all the way down there and you're going to fold your biots forward either side like so just hold them in place okay and then take a wrap of thread over the eye to trap them in there we go which a nice one other side like that you see that there it's just one other side of the hook there and you're just gonna a couple of turns in front one behind now some of the times these bites will just wiggle off break them like so one 
to depends on your bias and you might have to use your scissors just to trim them down depends on your bias really every single batch seems to be a little bit different so just finish that off at the eye of the hook just try and get that bit of excess bite down there lovely still looks a bit scruffy but it gets tidied up very quickly now so we're just going to whip finish this now everything in place So, brilliant, and then trim off under the hook. Okay, so there's your fly, so it's a nice easy tie, doesn't take very long at all to do that. And now we need to finish it. This is where the pattern really comes to life, okay. This is the bit that takes it from looking like, kind of like a buzzer, to the buzzer that we know. And it's just this Sally Hansen's hard as nails. Okay, love this stuff. You can use all sorts of there, 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 there's all sorts of um, varnishes out there and UV stuff, etc., etc. But I still swear by this Sally Hansen's. You get loads for your money with it. So first coat's going to soak in, so it can be quite a nice liberal coat. So just working all the way. You see how already that starts to shine through. That, that bring that really brings it to life. Making sure you get all the way around the fly there we go just keep an eye on it it doesn't no access building up anywhere and stopping any drips from coming through then all of a sudden and that's just with one coat of this has suddenly brought this right to life this fly that's essentially is your cool buzzer and there's that lovely segmented effect there um i'm going to give this or i will give this a further two coats of hard as nails uh, and then it's pretty much bomb proof you can uh, fish that time and time again great little fly for the reservoirs great little fly for the still waters it, it kind of covers all of my buzzer fishing if there's one buzzer that i normally uh, pick out of the box my go-to buzzer it's this pattern here uh, i get through loads and dozens and dozens and dozens of them in the space of the year two of these on a couple of droppers fab on a point um, pop it out on a tip line early season and just let them flutter down through the water nice and nice and slowly and pretty much just hang on um, you can if you want to and I do tie them with a slight variation as well um, I quite often put them with a little um, a red hollow button on the back here in fact I've got one sitting here and I'll show you what I mean um, so you just tie it in with a little red hollow butt at the back and it just gives it a little bit more of a flutter and a flicker as it comes down through the water good on bright days and love of fly with a little bit of red in it on a bright day uh, can make all the difference uh, yeah try them with orange cheeks try them with uh, uh, red cheeks try them with white cheeks uh, as i say this is actually sunburst or a very bright fluoro yellow but the camera isn't picking the colour up particularly well and that's essentially it with two more coats of varnish on top of that and that's going to be a very very nice looking little fly and one of my most productive flies throughout the uh, throughout the season I hope you enjoyed it uh, get on the vice and tie here thanks very much if you click uh, like and subscribe and I'll keep popping these videos out thanks all